Well, welcome back to my garage. So, a long running problem that I have in here is kind of finding a, a, a balance between organization, space, and working area. Because it is, it does act as a garage. This is where we keep all of the motorcycles. Six of them at the current time. <laughs> two dirt bikes, two sport tours, and two adventurers. I'll probably change the spring. I'm thinking of selling at least one, maybe a couple. We'll see. But, you know, I I have a lot of projects. I do a lot of making and building things and so I've got the the areas to do it, like the workbenches and project areas and welding benches and all my tools and toolboxes and but the problem is the storage side of the house tends to interfere with that. So, you know, like I can't get to the workbenches because the dirt bikes are leaning against it. Uh, I can't get to the lathe because you know, all that over there. And then like there's a man door in here, but you can't even tell that <laughs> there is one in the garage. So yeah. You know, it's not as bad as like, you know, I'll be driving down the road and somebody'll have their garage door open and it'll just be like floor to ceiling, wall to wall, packed with like old couches and TVs and you know, at least I don't have that problem going on. I don't have a clutter or hoarding issue. I just have a, a space issue. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and alleviate that with a shed. So, I'm going to... I've, I've already got it down here on the floor. It's a... a, a 10 by 8. One of those, you know, do-it-yourself, build... you know, metal... Yeah, it's it it thin metal sheds, you know, just like a, a garden shed. So, I got one of those, I got all the wood, I'm going to build a nice platform on pillars and, you know, really weatherize the whole thing, seal it up and silicone it, and because we want to put all of our outdoor gear in there, all of our camping stuff, our gold panning, and you know, hiking and adventure stuff and then any room that's left there some of the project boxes which is all this stuff up here they're different various projects or and or you know storage like you know the tote up, the clear tote up there on the, the upper right that's a that's foam it's like EVA foam and a uh, seat foam and you know just foams that's like a foam box so we're gonna build the shed and uh, open this up a little more so one of the things I really want is to be able to get to my welding equipment easily I've got at least two if not like five welding projects right off the hop my, my daughter needs a new desk and she's got one of these roll, uh, one of the roll top writing desks, but it doesn't work for a computer very well, and it definitely doesn't work for like, a, you know, a graphic artist that is running, you know, like three screens and a drawing pad, and yeah, it just she's really cramped. So the first thing that I want to do this spring is build her a custom-made form-fit desk for her purposes and it's gonna be mixed medium wood and metal so I need my welding stuff and a, a little more room I can easily park the bikes in the driveway and have you know basically all this open space here to work in and put the two adventure bikes outside and you know that's that's way more so yeah, it's not too bad. I can actually bring a car in here if I need to, but I just want a little more room, a little more breathing room. So uh, this week it's all about shop infrastructure, building a shed, moving that whole corner out, and then 
organization. I need a whole lot of organization in my life, too. So, uh, yeah, stick with me. We're going to put this thing together, and let's get that going. And here we are in the backyard. So this is where the shed is going to go. A little storage shed. We got a nice spot picked out right there. We just got some leveling and some clearing and moving and and then once all that's done, then we can start building the base and then put the shed together. Should be fun. It's a little bit too bad. It's actually like 50 out. It's not bad for a January. Alrighty, so we're definitely like uh, into the worst part right now. Getting, getting everything lined up and level and lined up and level and making sure it's square like and plumb. Like a big Lego! <laughs> oh. Well, Legos are a lot easier than this. You just oh. click, click, click and it's all together. This is like dig, 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 pound, 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 measure, measure, dig, 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 pound, 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 measure, measure. Whew. Yeah, I thought this was July. It is like turning into the hottest day in July like ever. Yeah. I am like, oof. I'm definitely sweating off all my Christmas fat, that's for sure. <laughs> well, back to work. It is a quarter to four. Because we've been working for like four hours. It took good. F it took us about like four hours to get this leveled and squared up and whatnot. Seems like a lot of work for not much, not much end result. But there's a square, and we're losing daylight fast. Around here, once it drops below the mountains, it gets cold and dark pretty quick. So we probably have about another hour left. Enough time to get all the floor joists and clean up for the day. So let's get that done. That should be pretty quick. That's, you know, the leveling and the squaring and all that, that's the hard part. And from here, it's pretty, pretty quick just to bang out the rest.
Well, here we go. Day one is done. And it doesn't look like a lot, but it's actually quite a decent amount. We got the frame, the floor joists, the pillar blocks. You know, everything's, you know, the hard part is done. Now we just gotta lay the flooring and build the shed itself. Uh, the shed itself, you know, that should be an afternoon. Maybe three or four hours with all the way I plan on building it is it's gonna all be sealed and siliconed all the little nooks and crannies and seams are all gonna be siliconed so it's gonna take a it's gonna take an afternoon to build the shed but uh it's not bad it's not bad for a Monday we're already this far along so yeah it's a, it's a good day part one done so I will see you guys tomorrow when I, and well, it's tomorrow, maybe, because I don't know, I might wake up tomorrow morning and just feel like I got hit by a bus and uh, get out of bed for two days. Yeah, it's hard saying. It's a fair amount of work that I did today, but I got it done. I've been talking about doing this project for a couple of months now, and it's actually it's there, it started, it's halfway done, so it's pretty cool. Can't wait to actually finish it and get everything moved in there and then I can actually get to work in my shop. So, and uh, until next time, you know, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't clicked the notification bell, click that too so you can be notified of new stuff. Uh, drop me a comment, hit a like or a dislike or any one of those things. Uh, any news is good news, as they say in the biz. Any like is a good like. <laughs> Until next time, stay safe, have fun, peace.